It's David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University. Talking about static CE2301. We're talking about a real simple problem for moment of inertia of a composite section. The section we're going to deal with is this L shaped thing. Dimensions are given. And the first thing we want to know is what's the moment of inertia about the x axis? So I want to break this shape up into two rectangles. Both of them are 6 by 12. I mean 6 by 2. So I'm going to call this area 1. Draw this little line here. That's the centroid of that shape of that rectangle, Ix prime. Similarly, I'm going to call this rectangle 2. And here's this little line run through its centroid in the x direction about the x about its own centroidal x prime axis is what I call that. Okay, this is just like what we've been doing, except we're going to extend it further. Got the two segments, compute the area of each one. The area of segment one is obviously six by two or 12. Same thing for the area of segment 2, 6 by 2, 12. I can sum those while I'm at it, 24 inches squared. Now I want y bar, y tilde, a distance from the axis I'm taking moment of inertia about, this x-axis, to the centroid of the piece. This is just what we've been doing. Centroid for segment 1 is half of the height of 6 inches or 3 inches. Segment 2, it's half of the 2 inch height or 1 inch. Now I multiply the y tilde column times the area, and for segment 1 I get 36, for segment 2 I get 12. And now, just like we've been doing, I can get y bar, sum those up. y bar is 48 over 24 or 2 inches. Okay, I want to draw that on my drawing, and that is the centroid, that's the x-axis centroid at least, of the overall composite shape. I'm going to call that x prime also, but that's the x prime centroidal axis of the composite shape running through its centroid line, centroid point. Okay, next thing I want to do is compute the Ix prime, which is the moment of inertia of each segment about its own centroidal axis. And it's been derived from using calculus for a rectangle of dimensions B by H. The moment of inertia, Ix prime about its own centroid axis x prime is bh cubed over 12. So that's the value that I want to put in here. b for the area segment 1 is 2. 6 cubed is the height divided by 12 and that's equal to 36. It says dimensions inches to the fourth. ix prime of this rectangle that's 6 by 2 cubed over 12 works out to be 4. Sum those two and I get 36 plus 4 is 40. Okay, now I'm using the parallel axis theorem which says the moment of inertia about any axis, in this case the x-axis, is equal to its moment of inertia about its each part and piece the moment of inertia and the sum of those of its moment of inertia about its own centroidal axis, Ix prime, that's the column I just did right there, plus the sum of the AD squared terms. In this formula, D is the distance from the centroid of the piece to the axis I'm taking moments of inertia about. In that case, it's the x-axis. So, this d 
y distance in this dy squared a term is actually just my y tilde distance. So this is also dy. In this case I want to square it and multiply it by the area, but that's the only difference. 3 squared times 12 is equal to 108. 1 squared, obviously, times 12 is 12. I sum that up, I get 120. And so, I, x, the moment of inertia about this x-axis is the sum of I, x prime plus the sum of the AD squared terms, which is equal to 40 plus 120 is equal to 160 inches to the fourth. Okay, now I want to know what is my moment of inertia about of this composite section about its own centroidal axis, this x prime that I've drawn in green. What is i x prime? Where don't get confused between these x primes of the pieces and the overall centroidal axis x prime in green. That's once again equal to the sum of i x prime about its own centroidal axis, each segment, plus the AD squared term, where D is the distance from the centroid to the axis I'm taking moments of inertia about. In this case, that's that distance for that segment. You can call it dy prime. And for rectangle number two, it's that distance, dy prime. So for both of those, it's just one inch from 3 to 2 and from 1 to 2 and square that 1 squared times the area both of these are going to be 12 add those two up and I can state that IX prime the moment of inertia of the composite section about its own centroidal axis X prime is equal to the sum of i x primes plus the sum of the a d squared terms which is a different d so it makes this number different but the sum of the i x primes is the same 40 plus this d, d squared y term 24 is equal to 64 inches to the fourth simple stuff but I hope that helps